What's up everybody, Aaron with Simplicy and today we're going into the top password management softwares to just keep your life smooth and like our goal at Simplicy here, including when we think about creating our big website interface for all of you is that we just want to bring the best value in creating software solutions in your life. Um, we all know the difference of one good software application can literally change the kind of the layout of your whole day and how how much less stress you have or less work or even maybe it minutely just adjust how easy it is to wake up you know anything like that uh, and today with no further ado no waiting in this long two and a half minute intro we're gonna go into the top password software applications for your computer your phone your Android phone and all at the same time in that awesome ecosystem so right below me are the top four we're going into today Dashlane, Keeper, LastPass, and NPass. All of these applications are amazing uh, in, in like a really well rounded way, but then also have their own kind of like little edges in the market. And so, first one we're going to go into is Dashlane. And so, in a non biased way, because Dashlane is the one that I've used for the past like three plus years. Um, I think they're an amazing password application. They cover every single base from you being able to use it on all devices. They're all synced at the same time. It'll autofill passwords for you. It'll generate passwords for you, save that information automatically. It just does a lot of things to keep my life just seamless and using these really intensely safe passwords, like crazy long strings, random characters, all that jazz. And along with that is Dashlane offers a few extra features, so, and they'll talk about it like their dark web monitoring and personalized alerts for you. Even you could use a VPN if you're one of their uh, higher subscriptions. But what I think is the real key thing is having these emergency contacts. So today the biggest issue is, so what if grandma dies and no one knows she what was her password for her internet account, her bank account, and all this other stuff, and you're kind of put in this weird situation, you know? Um, and all of us have honestly 50 plus some of us hundred plus different accounts online um, so this allows for an emergency contact or someone say like you love or you know that you can trust uh, to have access if they what they can do is they can request access and then you can set a certain amount of time period of days that if you don't reply on your software like your application on your phone or your desktop it will give them access to whatever you kind of label this stuff they could access so I think that's a top top quality for this application and this is why I'm going into this one first because I think it hits every single base needed in a password manager along with extra features that just truly bring like that extra bang and value uh, as we look at the pricing here there's a free plan for every single one of these uh, software applications we're going through today in this video um, in particular with dash lanes <coughs> You get 50 passwords to go for. Um, that's definitely workable, but it's not for all of your stuff. So I definitely, I think everybody should give all of these a test. And as you go into it, it's 60 bucks a month. All of a sudden, it's 120 bucks a month, or sorry, not a month, a year on both of those numbers. Um, it could it could be costly for sure, but that's what comes with a lot of these features in this really cool application. Just everything is just bond, and so. Uh, Moving forward from Dashlane and me hyping it up and saying all these good things, we're going to kind of take a different approach to password management and look at, okay, what if you're someone who has a business or what if, you know, I'm maybe a little more focused on actual the security of my passwords and all that. And so Keeper as an application has a few extra things like not allowing you to enter your get into your password manager on your phone with a pin if you have an older phone that does not have biometrics you're gonna have to enter your full password just little things that ensure the security along with two-factor authorization uh, and but the biggest key to this is it offers all of that in these cheaper pricing plans compared to what Dashlane was and what you're gonna see a lot of these other ones are uh, not in any type of way that they're expensive. This one's more for businesses So it's not for actual like a lot of our personal people like you and I potentially um, But like I said, I want to make sure I hit simplicity we hit every single software that can help you I know we're attracting a lot of efficient people that just are focused on doing better every single day uh, And that's why I wanted to talk about this application. It hits everything that's important to about a password application layers a little bit more on top with security and then on top of that 
puts you in an environment where uh, multiple people and kind of other uh, entities can be a part of this password managing service. But then also, obviously, to include that, they have the product for the whole personal side of stuff, too. And I think it's honestly a great a atmosphere and ecosystem. But one thing you're going to see with every single one of these apps is that when you look at the desktop app, it's clean. The mobile application and all that stuff, it's very straightforward. Now, there's some things that this is missing, like that uh, services like Dashlane have. And that's bulk password changing. That's part of the security for them not to have that feature. Realistically, for me, that's like a cream of the crop feature that right away made me feel like, wow, this password manager was worth the money. Like, I know I had more than like 50 plus, I think it was like 70 something passwords to change. Dashlane did it all just and just saved them all done, you know? And, and that would have been a whole lot longer of a process if it was me going to each individual site and doing whatever with my email. So, Keeper's a great one. Moving next into the best kind of like standard stepping into this market, where do I go? Uh, I wanna just use something that's for free. That is our main dog, LastPass. So what's so great about LastPass? It has all of the things that I've just continued to hit on. That's gonna be kind of like a repetitive thing with simplicity videos since we just only wanna show you what's the best out there. Um, but it does a lot of these features for zero dollars while others you'd be paying more than thirty dollars a month or sixty in Dashlane's case so on this guy in the free version you can literally have as many passwords as you want in here and then also on top of that a little weird little glitch here with nothing popping up here um, but along with top of that you can have this across multiple different devices so the issue with like other platforms on the free versions is they'll try and lock you in on one device or whatever. But LastPass really is just in it for you to start becoming really like, oh wow, this is saving me hours on hours a month and over the year. I'm just gonna go for the premium version because it adds these these lists of few features. Let me go into um, actual the premium. There it is, thirty six dollars per year. Um, but the additions of like using a premium service here is obviously we can go through this one by one, but like saving and filling in the passwords, password generator, multi-factor authentication. A lot of the things in the emergency access was the key feature that we, I was talking about earlier. A lot of these things are super important to create that full picture of a great password manager, but they're gonna allow you to kind of sneak in and get that free feature of the password manager, or at least you got something to start with on a digital platform. And it won't inhibit you to 50 passwords or whatever. Um, Going into actually this application and how it, this is what I really like about this one is that it's showing us more of a visual representation of, okay, what the heck, how does this work, my master password, looking at the app, well, how does the app actually work, and a lot of them kind of share this similar look here, but across all devices, it allows you to see everything you want and actually, excuse me, to have those autofill in your app on your phone. That's why I think LastPass is a really great one, including if you just want to save your cash uh, and still get this kind of full uh, like picture of what a password manager is and how much efficiency you can bring to your day. Now our last one offers a little unique of an approach to password management. We've seen so much about clouds syncing across devices, obviously and all of that being secure but every single one has had this consistent monthly cost or yearly cost that comes with it so impasse is one that is the more budget friendly like on the all the way budget scale where like i don't need another bill aaron um where you literally only pay 11.99 for this application the issue is is depending on okay if you're going to use it like it says here if you're gonna use it on Apple and Android, then all of a sudden you're gonna be paying $11.99 for that app, and then that app, and then that app. And so where this gets unique with Empass and kind of is their idea of security in within that is if you get it on your iPhone, then you get it on your Android, they're not gonna be directly connected through a cloud. Since you're only paying a one-time payment, you're not actually paying for this continued upkeep of cloud services and all that stuff. So if you wanted to share the passwords in between those, you set up a link like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. I'll start showing you through this page. I was doing a whole lot of hand movements right there. Uh, and then from there, things start to sync. Some people would say, ooh, that's, that's not actually true security. Others wouldn't be really tripping about it. Um, whatever, that's up to you. In reality, I'm sure things are encrypted and it's not literally like a basic text file 
uh, just post it onto your Google Drive. And if they're doing that, then that's the exact same stuff that big companies like Facebook are doing. I'd be disappointed, Loki. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's their biggest factor. No subscription. You gain all the password management stuff. You also gain a really clean application from a reputable software company. Um, and that's something that you want when you're kind of going into thinking of, okay, where am I going to store all these very critical, honestly, for in some cases, the most critical information of your life. You can also be storing cards in some of these applications and your social security and all this other jazz and any type of file you'd want to put in there. So it gets very important very quickly. Uh, you want this to be encrypted and you want it to be in safe hands. Uh, and that's the biggest importance of actually getting a password management for everybody that doesn't have one yet. It's simply because currently you don't have one place where you have everything safe. Everything's a little bit over there. That password is the same as the password over here. And then my American Eagle account is only one digit off of my bank account or whatever. <laughs> that's something that may work in the future for who knows how long, but every single day you're putting yourself at risk. Every single time there's a data breach or whatever. I'm not here to scare tactic you. I'm just here to help give you the best knowledge to make the best decisions for yourself. So just going into a little rerun of today, we got Dashlane, which is the number one kind of, at least in my eyes, all around that came with a lot of features. Keeper is a perfect way to kind of build within a security, get yourself a lower bill, and then have something that works with business solutions. <clears throat> LastPass, you're gonna find is the simplest for a free trial and like stepping into the environment slowly. And then like the others, it just hits everything you need perfectly. And then into our last one, maybe the one that might work better for someone who's a little more old school and doesn't want things on the cloud. Here's your chance for m -Pass, and also here's your chance to save a lot of money with only one payment. So that kind of goes into the importance of password managers and what we're trying to do here at Simplicy. We, I really hope we brought you a video that gave you some new knowledge with software and a better tool because that's exactly what we're here for. We're even creating a website application so you can literally go on there. You don't have to watch this video and like wait all the way through to figure out what's happening in the details. You can go to our site, check things out really quick, see what kind of category and things you're doing and literally see the best applications for that there. So no more searching or struggling for years being like, dude, I can't just Google what's the best application for this. I need a place for that. So that's us. I hope we brought you value. Please drop a like, a comment if there's another application that you know that's really saucy, and even a subscription if you're really digging what we're into. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.